So from the new project option, you will see that there is an option for Java FX. Can you see this? In the left side, you will find an option of Java FX. Select that. Okay, we will use Java FX. Select that. Project Registry version is fine. Then next. So in the just in this part, we'll need to select Java FX instead of Java. This two will be similar. Change the project name to maybe Java FX test app. Then finish. Okay. So IntelliJ IntelliJ will create the project for us. And actually, you can see there are three files. So the first one is the main.java file. It contains some codes which are uh, in red mark. That means IntelliJ is not able to find this, these classes, actually. These are classes. We import classes. So IntelliJ is not able to import or find these classes. So the first file that you download is a zip file that contains these classes. Okay, so we require the zip file so that IntelliJ IDEA can uh, import these classes. Okay, so let's first do that. So after you create a project in IntelliJ, the first thing you need to do is to add the Java FX SDK so that these classes are found. For that, go to your download the files, go to your download folder. This is the zip file that I was talking about. So I have downloaded it. I will extract it. Extract it. OK, so this is extracted here. And you can uh, actually copy it to somewhere else like in C drive or in other drives, you can copy that to some other place. So I'm for now keeping the extracted file in the downloads folder. OK. Then I will go inside it, then inside the folder. Then there is a folder called Leap. These are given. Okay. I am using my mobile's Wi Fi. My internet country down. I will just go to that site. So, um, uh, Java FX. Java FX, the search for Java FX and open JFX Java FX. Let's go here. Let's go to documentation. Starting, I'll give you the link Java FX and IntelliJ. Okay, so this is the part in this part IntelliJ idea, Java FX and IntelliJ. Here, the uh, details are shown, the steps that are needed. To create a Java FX application are given here. So I'm giving you this link. Go to this link and you will find this page. And we are using IntelliJ. So click here and you can find that how to create a Java FX project. So first step we have already completed. We have created a Java FX project from IntelliJ. Sir, then it's tonight. Eclipse. Eclipse as AJ Canada. Oh, yes, I think so. Okay. Then we need to uh, set JDK. Okay, our JDK is fine. Then create a library. Okay, we need to do that. For adding the JavaFX classes, we need to create the library. So I will go to File, Project Structure, Libraries. So let's go to File, Project Structure and libraries then add java fx sdk 
and point to the leaf folder. Okay, so inside the unzipped file, you have this leaf folder. So what it's saying is here in the libraries, add a new project library, Java, then go to the leaf folder. Okay, so it, it will, in my case, it will be in downloads, Java FX, leaf, this folder. Okay, if I click OK, then, then OK again, then these classes will be added. And in the main, uh, we need to click OK. And in the main, the errors will be gone after indexing is complete. OK, so the steps are given here. You will need to go to file. File, project structure, libraries. Then add the leaf folder. OK, leaf folder again. File, project structure. Let's add. Uh, from the libraries, add a Java, then go to the leaf folder. That is the place where you extracted the zip file, the SDK zip file. So in my case, it will be in downloads, downloads. Then this is the extracted file. Inside it, I will find the lib file. So I will select that and press OK. Or you can just put the address here in this address bar. Just put the address of your lib here, like this. You can take a lib address. Get this lib address, copy it, and put it here. Okay. Same address. Okay, sir. So select it, press OK. As I have already done it, so I am not going to press OK. You should press OK and OK again. Then the libraries will be uh, found. So the errors will be gone. Initial errors will be gone. A step pojan to kikara kono problem? Any problems? Sir, amar error jai nai, sir. What is indexing got to sa nage dhekho niche? Indexing shesh or por error ta jabe? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Okay, fine. So, should I continue? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It okay, good to see Yes, sir. Okay, so I'm continuing. So, the next thing is you can still run this project. Okay, you need to do another thing to actually run this. So, here, for running, you will need to do, you need to uh, put this code in your edit configurations. Okay. So from this page, actually copy this code. Okay. In part four, copy this code. And you will actually need to change this lib location. So I am copying this it in my IntelliJ, then this path should be the path to the lib folder. That is this path, the path to the lib folder. Okay, so I'm copying this path and here I am changing the path to my, this is path, path to the lib folder. Okay, if lib folder, oh, yeah, copy code. Okay, so get the code from here. This is the total code. We'll need to change the path inside the double code. Change code, we will get the path from our directory where we extracted the JavaFX SDK. Go inside, you'll find the leaf folder. Go inside and copy the path from here. Right click, copy. So this is the path to the leaf folder. Then insert the path in the double quotation mark. Insert this double quote, insert your path, insert your path to the lib folder. Okay, so the code looks like this now. 
Now cut it or right click cut it. Then you can see how it is. Go to run edit configurations. So I will go to run edit configurations. And here, I guess in the environment variables, let's see VM options. VM options. Okay. So where are VM options? So modify options to take a power uh, VM add VM options right so from modify options you will have add VM options click that VM options and paste the code the whole code so, then click apply okay that's okay so again let me show you go to run First of all, get this code, change this path to the path to your leaf folder in the JavaFX SDK. If you change your PC, you can leave folder. Then copy this code. You copy this code. Run, edit configurations. Then, if the VM option is not showing, you can click on add VM options. Then add VM options. Then you will just add the code in this VM options. Okay. Apply. Okay. Yes, sir. Now if I run the code, if I right click and run, the code should run. Okay, the code runs and it is showing a empty GUI. So this is the first part. This part is the setup part actually. So to create a JavaFX program and to show this GUI, we need to do all these things. And all these steps are uh, described in this web page. The OpenJFX docs, from this you can find all the steps. Um, where are we able to run the application? A, a window that can't ever see, shall we? This Hello World window, is it showing for everyone? Yes, sir. So later, can you see it? Or can you see it? Sir, I can see it a little bit. I mean, it's a lot of energy. So let me start from the start, actually. So let's go to the first part. So first part is, I will create a JavaFX project. So from IntelliJ IDEA, you will select the JavaFX, then you'll click Next. Then click Create the project normally. Then after the project is created, uh, the JavaFX classes are not recognized. So for that, we will need to go to File, Project Structure, Project, okay, File Project Structure and Libraries. Then add the JavaFX SDK as a library. So for this part, what we will do? Let me show you File, Project Structure, Libraries. I will click add, add a library. It should be a Java library. Then here I will put the path to our lib folder. So the lib folder was in, inside the downloads, I extracted this zip file. So this is my extracted zip file. Inside it, we have this JavaFX SDK. Inside it, we have the lib folder. So let me copy the path from the address bar and 
paste it here. Okay, so it finds the lib folder, and if you press OK, then it will add the lib as a library. Then you press OK again. Okay, so the lib will be added. Then you will need to get this code from the ad, uh, website. If you are using Windows, get this code from the website and put the code in the ID and change this path to the again path of the lib. So we'll need the path of the lib again. So again, copy this path of the lib and put the path inside the double quotation marks. So this is the code. Now copy or cut this code, control C, copy this code, go to file, project structure, not project structure, sorry, run, then go to edit configurations from run. Then here there is an option for add VM options. And this is the VM option uh, text field for me. So I have added that code, this code in the VM, edit VM option. And after that, if I press OK, then if I run the program, the program should work. So if I run it, now it should work. So for the first time, maybe you'll need to right click, then click run main. After that, you can run from here. Okay. No, no, for this project, you need to just do it once. For a new project, you will uh, need to do it again. But for this project, the uh, task is needed to be done once. Okay, so we have set up a JavaFX application. And the JavaFX application is running. So the next thing is we will uh, I will not do complex things. We will just uh, see very basic things like adding a button, clicking, event handling, those things. And actually, in JavaFX, event handling is much easier than, I guess, compared to uh, Java Swing or other things. OK, so in JavaFX applications, we have um, Mainly, we have this object called stage, which is a which is an object of the class stage, and it is called primary stage. So, stage is like an object in JavaFX that represents the whole application, and the layout will be represented by something called scene. Okay, so we can actually, we will be actually change the scenes in our stage. So it's kind of like dramas. In a drama, there is a stage and there are a few scenes and scenes change uh, change after some times. Because a drama is a scene, sorry, a stage take stage check in the change. We stage a month, multiple scene show her. So this is kind of similar to that. So the application, the main application will be represented by a stage. And that application might have different GUIs or different visual elements for different purposes. Say to me a login form niba login form near or can they get or no data man login call is that the problem data show program. So you will need a GUI for the login form and another GUI for showing the results after the login, right? You will need to change the GUI. Uh, do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yes, sir. OK, so the thing is, the application will have a primary stage, and the different layouts will be represented by different scenes. So we can change our scenes to show different things in the GUI. OK, now these scenes. These scenes are represented by files called FXML. These FXML files are responsible for generating 
the scenes or how the scenes will look like and this is actually very easy to create these scenes or create the GUI layout in JavaFX and for that actually we have downloaded a software the second software called scene builder okay this software will be able to create us the scenes and if you have used drag and drop system in uh, op for java swing this scene builder is very similar to that and i guess much more powerful so let me install this software so i will right click it this is normal software installation nothing special just click next I guess I have already installed Scene Builder, so you will need to install it. So I guess in my case, it is already installed. Okay, so you will need to install the Scene Builder. And let me see. Okay. Okay, so install the Scene Builder. Install this software, and after installation, we can open this fxml file in scene builder i will right click it there is an option open in scene builder so i will click that then here i will need to show intelligent idea the location of scene builder okay so in my case i don't know where is it so maybe in location um, uh, let me find the location for scene builder sir add korte project add korte hobe okay sir can't actually find it let me just uninstall it and install it again so okay, download scene builder. I will uninstall it. Remove. Finish. Actually, you don't need to open the file from the IntelliJ idea. You can just go to the explorer and open it. But I will show you how to open it from the IntelliJ. So I will install it, except. So this is where it is installed. OK, so uh, I guess you'll need to remember this location let me just copy this path and put it here it's fine let's just install it here next install Okay, so if you have forgotten to uh, get the path, the path should look like this. So see users, your username. So in my case, it is showing my username. So it should be your username, slash app data, local scene builder. Okay. Now it is finished. Then copy this path and IntelliJ idea, paste this path. So I have scene builder. And I will select scenebuilder.exe. Okay, so here you can add the guy. I will right click open in scene builder. Okay, so it doesn't know where the scene builder is. So I'll need to give it the location of scenebuilder.exe. So I will paste my installation location and I will show it the scenebuilder.exe file and press OK. Okay, so now after that, it will open that file, sample.fxml file. You can see it in scene builder. Okay, so it's a quick way to go scene builder. Install the Corpora Intel is the key code. Right click, open in scene builder. And then, if scene builder is not set up, you will need to first put the location of scene builder in IntelliJ. So, usually the 
installation dictionary directory is if you haven't changed it it will be c users your username app data local symbol this location and you will need to put the dot exe so in when you right click at select open in symbol scene builder you will need to set the path to scene builder dot exe file or if you don't want to do this uh, if you don't want to do this in IntelliJ you can just right click uh, open in Explorer then you can just right click then uh, open with then find scene builder more apps then just find scene builder okay you can also same address like so at the Sadhu Jai like this. Okay. So after it are a good job. It at the Saramata Pega second to it are delayed a directly scene builder open as it. Okay, sir. So, so basically, Tomajeta like this scene builder a location to like the location to Kothai was a paste curve. It also location. Location paste curve by can I right click curve the open in scene builder. Take a say. Okay, so you have scenebuilder.exe location. Scenebuilder.exe location. This is our drive. Scenebuilder.exe. Inside this location. See users, app data, local scenebuilder. Okay, inside this folder, I have the scenebuilder.exe. If I right click properties, uh, anyways. So in IntelliJ, right click open in Scene Builder, then provide the path to the Scene Builder.exe file. A file tar path tomar IntelliJ te dita ho. Then after that, after that, if you just right click and open in Scene Builder, this file will be open in Scene Builder. Directly. It took a gas shaker. Jesus, sir. Okay, so inside scene builder, you can see that there are containers, controls like buttons, glue ons, menus. So, all these are drag and drop items. So, the first thing you will need is a container. So, I will put a container here and I can resize it. Okay, so this will be the main container of your application. So, there are multiple types. I used pane, which is a basic. Very simple rectangular container. There are also other types. Uh, maybe just use title pen. Maybe just not the simple pen. Maybe just use title pen. Let's see. So I will just delete it. Delete this. Inside the, inside the title. Change the name to my app. Or you can use any other container. Okay, so after making change in the sample.fxml file, you can create file and save or control S to save the file. Okay, so the sample.fxml file will be saved. And if I go back to IntelliJ now, we can change that this file is updated. So if I run my code, you'll see that it is showing the updated GUI. Okay, anyways, ignore the warnings. Okay. So it is showing the JavaFX UI that I use. So you can use my app, Lexilum, or talk about
So I think I will go back to the simple pane. So I will just delete this and I will put the simple pane here. So save it, go back to our application. And if I run this, it should show a simple GUI. Okay, now let's add some components. So I can add all these controls, like the button. Let's add a button. Let's resize it. Then in the right side, you will have the button properties. So there is a property called text. Can you see this? Let me zoom in. After I put the button in the GUI, I have all these properties of the button. So first one is text. Text is the text that will be shown. So I can change it to say click. Just enter. And then the button's text will be changed to click. Then I can change the font size and font type. So let me just make it bigger. Yeah. So the font size of the button got bigger. Then I can do all types of things, text alignment, text field, the color of the text, and so on. And I can make it, I guess, bold. So the click text is now bold. So I can change all these from the button properties. Change the alignment, opacity, that means how transparent the button is. So if I change it, the button becomes less transparent. Okay, And you can also add uh, some styles to the button, which I will skip for now. Styles uh, so mainly I'm a button to click core, create core, a button head on angular properties, change with the button. Is there any question? Do I need to repeat anything? You'll need to tell me, okay, both of you. Okay, thank you. Okay, now let's see what happened in our GUI. So let's go back to IntelliJ IDEA. Just click run. Let's see what happened. Okay, nothing happened. Why? Can you tell me Save why? Save the nice Right. So you need to, if you made any change to this file, you are changing it in the scene builder. So IntelliJ IDEA does not know about it. So you will need to save it so the file is updated. Then when you go back to IntelliJ IDEA, the updates are taken place. And now if you press run, okay, so it is showing. Okay, so thing is the IntelliJ IDEA is not showing the whole window. And we can control it, we can set the scene uh, size here. So we can set the scene size as same as the size of our pane. This is the pane. And what is its size? It is size photo. So inside the layout, you can find its size. It is 622 by 453. Let's make it some even numbers. Let's make it 600. By 400. Okay. And center the. Okay, so click the button in the left down corner. You can find all the elements in your GUI. So say you want to change the button position. So first, select the button here. Then you can change its position. Okay. Now save it again. And in IntelliJ IDEA, so now when I want to create my scene, I want to have its width 600 and its height 400. Then if I run the program, now it is showing the GUI as we have created in our scene builder. Okay. So what is happening here? 
So what it is doing is, it is creating a scene. So it is creating a scene. And for that scene, it is using the sample FXML file, that is this file, for the scene's GUI. OK? So at a scene create code to say, jeta junno, che a file a jebhabe GUI ta bola ase, jebhabe she GUI ta create code. Okay, is there any question? And then after creating the scene, we are setting it to our stage. So if we need to later change our scene, we will create a new scene similar to this. Then we will set, set it to our stage. Then our scene or the GUI will change. Okay, FXML file will catch the FXML file. Okay, okay. Sir, I can't say so, but I can't say so. This is the size of the... I can't say so, sir. Yes, so in the scene builder, our pane, the size of our pane was set to 600 by 400 this pen okay. so in the code also we change the size of the scene to 600 by 400 so pen size jetta chilo we same size i'm not seeing that okay so tell me what are the uses of this fxml files fxml file will work key This file actually represents the GUI, the button that you are showing, where is it coming from? We put this button in the FXML, FXML file. We put this button in this file. And we are loading it. This We are loading this file using the scene and setting it in our stage. So in the application, this is showing. So basically, to me, FXML file in the GUI, JJ element, you have to go to application okay so this file this sample at fxml file will be responsible for designing the gui or the visual part of the gui application okay so we can add other gui elements like we have labels labels kimono sir what are levels? Sir, tag. Right. So for showing a text in the GUI, let me just add it. So showing a text that is not editable, that is a level. Okay. Then there are image viewer, hyperlink, button we have seen, where are text fields. So we have text area and text field. These are for Text field is for what? Text field is to write down. So text field is going to write down. Right. So to write a single line of. Right. So to write a single line, like a name, a phone number, or something. And what is text area? If we need to write multiple lines, like a comment or a review. Okay, so text field is for single line input. Text area is for multiple line input. Labels are for showing some text, not editable. Okay, what do you have again? So again, there are progress indicator, radio buttons, and all these things. So mainly, I will use these in our class. So let me just show you so let me just show you these uh, elements in the GUI then I will remove it after that so I will save I will save close this and I will run okay 
So this is the level, which is the text, uh, which is a, actually a level. So this is a text field, and we can type values. It's a text area where we can type multiple lines of. Yes, sir. Okay, now let's remove those. So from the scene, I will remove this. Just press delete in the keyboard to delete this or you can delete them from this part right click and delete okay any questions up to now no sir okay so in each ui application the primary thing that we learn about is to handle click or click events. So we have this button in our GUI, and when I click it, something should happen. So let's see how a JavaFX application handle click events. So what I will do is I will link this button with our code, and the button handling code will go to a will go inside this controller.java file. Okay, so this class controller will be responsible for handling the button click or a method inside the controller class will be responsible for handling the button click. Okay, so what I will do is okay now for this controller class to handle that button, it know, needs to know about that button. Okay, or actually, we will inside the sample XML file, we will write some code so that it knows which application to run or which method to run when the button is pressed. Okay, so what we will do, we will modify the button in the FXML file, we will add something so that it knows what to do when the button is pressed. So let's go back to our scene builder, select the button. And here, if you go to the code part, so in the right part, there are properties, layout, and code. Properties, layout, and code of the button. So if I go to the code part, there is a option called on action. I magnify it. So selecting the button, if I go to the code, there is a on action field. Here I will write a name. That is say on pressed or on click. So what will happen is when I press the button, this button, this will look for a method on click inside the controller class. Because it uh, to zoom up for Okay. So when I say on click inside the on action uh, text field in the scene builder and save it, then if I go back to IntelliJ idea sample you can see that it has a on action property so this is the button a button a quota for the generator so the button when you added the button in the pane so this code is actually responsible for creating the button and this button has a on action tag uh, HTML ne kach kursi. Do you know about HTML? Ji, sir. Yes, sir. So does this look similar to HTML? So it on it as CSS or moto. Yes, sir. Yes. No, no, CS na HTML moto na jay rakum tag thakane HTML. Ji, sir. Tag thake tapore ekane jay bitor properties glow thake. No, so it on it as HTML or moto similar. Actually, it's somewhat like XML. XML is kind of similar to 
एच की एच टी टी पी ना एच एम एल सॉरी एच एम एल एक्स एम एल और एच टी एम एल काइंड ऑफ सिमिलर सो दिस एक्चुअली फॉलोज एक्स एम एल व्हिच इज आल्सो सिमिलर टू एच टी एम सो द थिंग इज वी हैव दिस बटन एंड दिस पार्ट ऑफ द कोड इज रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर क्रिएटिंग दिस बटन इन द जी वाई हमारे जी वाई अपडेट करने हम रन करें अच्छा एक है ना मैं लिंक करने जो नहीं रहती थी सो नाउ व्हाट वी नीड टू डू इज वी नीड टू लिंक दिस ऑन एक्शन ऑन क्लिक टू द बटन नो कंट्रोलर सेट अप ओके सो व्हाट वी नीड टू डू इज इनसाइड द कंट्रोलर वी नीड टू ऐड अ मेथड कॉल्ड ऑन क्लिक लेट मी जस्ट गिव मी वन सेकंड So should be at if it's a little on click. Now the error should be gone. Okay, it, it takes a parameter. I actually forgot the method signature type. Let me just get it. Give me two minutes. के कोटा ठीक ही देखा चाहिए
তো আমি একটু দেখি যে পাচ্ছে না কেন এখানে আমি অ্যাকচুয়ালি একটা ঝামেলা করছিলাম সেটা হচ্ছে আমি যখন প্রথম আমার পেনটাকে ডিলিট করে দিছিলাম ওইটা আসলে আমাদের কন্ট্রোলারের সাথে লিঙ্ক ছিল সো যেটা হয়েছে এটা এখন আর ওই কন্ট্রোলারটাকে পাচ্ছে না সো আই উইল নিড টু ম্যানুয়ালি অ্যাট দ্যাট কন্ট্রোলার সো ফার্স্ট এর যে আমার কন্টেইনারটা থাকে ওটা আসলে রিমুভ না করাই বেটার So anyways, if I remove it, it will be added to it. Okay. Good. I will need to add. X controller. sample.controller now it should find it right okay let me show you okay so what happened was when i created this pane when i deleted actually the other the default one and created this pane can you see me can you see my screen yes sir what happened was okay. this part was removed so this part of the code tells that the gui should look for this class for the controller methods okay so if you remove this part then your uh, fxml file will not be able to connect with this controller class okay so to connect the fxml file with the controller we need to provide this code so if i go to controller you can see that package name is sample okay so the full class name is sample.controller and i added fx controller equal to sample.controller so now this controller class this controller class is linked with our fxml file now let's go back to the button so we added on action then we wrote hash on click so when we press the button now this on click method will be called and why is this on click method inside our controller so inside the controller there is this on click method now how does the know how does the controller know that this on click button or this on click will be called from the fxml file because we added a tag at fxml otherwise they cannot link it up so if i remove this tag fxml then it will not be able to find the on click button on the controller file okay so to show the fxml file that this is the button you are looking for you will need to add at fxml 
now this on but on click method will be connected with this button so when the button is pressed this on click method will be called okay so two things in summary make sure you have this part in the pane or in your top uh, i guess container you have this fx controller it uh, pointing to your controller class then inside the component for here we are talking about button on the on action tag we are providing the parameter on click so it's basically saying if i press the button go to the on click method where is the on click method in the controller class so if i go to the controller class i have this on click method so if i run my code now it should not give any error and if i click it it should print hello in the so if i we are using system dot out the print ln so if i click hello it should print hello in the console okay any questions amar ki bujhte se ki hocche ekhane কন্ট্রোলার ক্লাস দেন ফর দা বাটন উই উইল রাইট দা বাটন মেথড নেম কিয়ার then in the controller class we will write the same named method okay. so here we said on click go to on action go to on click method and in our controller class we have the on click method so when the button is pressed this method is called okay so what if we want to say change the text of a label when the button is pressed jokhon ekta button click korbo kono ekta label er kono ekta value change hoye jabe oita amra kori so again open the scene builder let's add a label let's make it bigger and let's remove the text okay let's make the text not So what I want to do is when I press the button click, I want to change this level to click. So initially it should show. Initially it should show not click. When I click the button, it should show click. So if I run the GUI now, it is showing not click. Okay. So when I click the button, I want this text field, or sorry, not text field, label to change to click. Okay. So for that, kinda koru ki korte hobe. For that, the code, this code in the controller class needs to know about the label. A label ter access pai thobe amar code. And kotha hoche ki bhabe ami a label er access ta pabo. so for that we will actually represent the label using a variable but for that we need to do something here in the um scene builder go to code there is a field for fx id 
So this value here, the value you put inside here, you will be able to access this element using this name. মানে এখানে যে নামটা দিবা সেই নামটা দিয়ে তুমি এলিমেন্টটাকে কোডের মধ্যে থেকে অ্যাক্সেস করতে পারবা সো লেটস গিভ আওয়ার লেভেল আর নেম কল ইট শো লেভেল So I'm calling it show level and let's just save. So in the level part, we have this tag, the ID tag, the value is show level. And in the controller, I will create a J level, a level variable like this, add it FXML level. And it should be java fx in the control class or package the package should be java fx dot scene dot control here you'll find the level class so i will import that class java fx dot scene dot control dot label and then the name of my label let's make it private the name of my level should be this name that we given it or this id Show level. So now the controller class will know which level are you talking about because this because this name is same as this ID. Now the controller will know. Okay, this is the level we are talking about. So this level variable will represent this level in the FX level. A concept I could see. Kyolo would see. As I may repeat, good simple terms. So, I'm other effects. I'm a actor level. Now, I'm a element as J level actor effects. ID now, I'm a tag as a Jacanami actor. Now, they this code. I mean, Jetta Corbo, Amanoche code a level take a take actor variable there. Java object they represent code. What I come and access code. So, code I mean, that I could make a level object nilam that a class here or nam tami dibo same as this ID fx ID. So, after that, after doing this, we can access this level using this variable name. So, what we can do is show level dot set text and change the text to click. So the level object has a method called set text and I am passing the text click. So whenever I click the button, what will happen? This method will be called. Then this method will change the level from not clicked to clicked. Let me show you. Let's run. Okay. So when I click this button, this method will be called on click method on click will change the level of this level to clicked. So if I click this, you can see it is changed to clicked. Karun a method ta call hello. Method potom jay kasha shet hoche show level dot set text clicked. Thalo ki bhai pusse se jay show level a level ta ke represent kutte se. E jay khan aamra fxml at fxml de label object ta create kolam. Naam ta mi dilam e khan jay id ta de ase shet ha. I'm just a different corner on the thumb. It wouldn't have worked. It wouldn't work. So let me read on. If I click it, nothing happens. It does not know what show level one is. Okay. So we need to make the name of the variable same as the FX ID. It has the same way. So I'm going to take a good job. তখন আমি যদি বাটনটাকে ক্লিক করি তখন সে এই লেভেলের টেক্সট চেঞ্জ করে সে হচ্ছে ক্লিক করে দিবে ইজ দ্যান এনি কোয়েশন
Okay, so what's your feedback on Java FX? Sir, GUI is easy. GUI is easy. Just to me, I will tell you that the button press is the method call. The key element is the same as the label. The button is the same as the key element. The variable is the same as the controller class. Now you can do anything. Now you can do anything. Now you can do anything. The button click is the same as the same as the same. Okay, so uh, let's do a demo code. Let's make a simple calculator. Okay, so our simple calculator will have only two buttons and two it will fills. Fill, add two values, either add two values or multiply two values. That's it. Okay, so we will start with the GUI. Okay, so go to the sample XML file. Let's I guess keep this button. Let's uh, also maybe keep this for showing the result. Make this button a bit smaller. Then Control C, Control V, copy and paste to create a clone. Okay, Control C, Control V to create a clone. Now, for the first button, let's change the button text to add. For the second button, change the button text to multiply. Okay, so these are our two buttons. And this text field, or uh, certain level, will show the result. So initially, this text field will not show anything empty and result will be take the text alignment is centered okay so now to enter the data or enter the two numbers we will need to kill like a number enter that journal text field right let's take two text fields and put it here so first set this one up, change that text size to 22. Then just copy and paste it. Control C, Control V to make a clone. Okay. So this is our GUI. Right. Okay. Align everything. That is fine. Okay. Now we need to access, so for adding these two values, we need to access these two text fields in our code. And to access the text field, key code the mother is a code party gay connect ID the other way. And now text will take access code the body. So let's give it ID, let's call it input one. So the first text field is called input one, and call the second one input two. So we have given the name input one to our first text field and input two to our second. And also we will need to give it, give this uh, level a name. It is already given the name show level. It's fine. The name show level is fine. So don't need, no need to change it. For the add button, uh, we don't need to give it an ID because we are not accessing the button. We need it to we need to give it a on action method, or we need to provide it a method. So when the button is pressed, pressed that method is called. So button ke samar ID gulo door karne. Kano door karnei? Chinda koro to text field gula, level gula, extra shatte button ke difference theki. So why did we put IDs in the Labels and text field, and not in the buttons. Because from the text fields, we need to get the values inside the text fields. So we need to represent the text field as an object. I don't know what I think I'm a value to need to have it. 
for the set, uh, label, we need to change the text. For that also, we need to represent it as an object. But for the buttons, we do not need to change anything in the button itself. We just want to call a method when the button is pressed. So for that, in this on action part, that is this method will be called when the button is pressed. So for the on action of the add method, let's call the add, just call the add method. Okay, it's fine. Call the multiply, call the multiply method. Okay, so our scene part is done. Let's go back to IntelliJ idea. We do not have one click anymore. We have two methods. Two method a second. Nam ki mona se method kular? Ki nam dilam? Add and multiply. Right. So now we need to create two methods called add and multiply. Ekhane dakhwa hami jodi kode ashi button gula dakhwa. These are these are the buttons. So here we have ekhane jete dakhwa lal hoye. So mane tumi method add kor. So we need to create a method add and the method multiply. So let's get those. I don't need the on click method anymore. Or maybe just change the name to add. So when I uh, create the add method, if I go back to XML, it will find the add method. So same thing for the multiply method. Call it multiply. Again, if I go back to the FXML, it finds the multiply method. So now when I click the add button, this method will be called, add method will be called. And when I click multiply, this method will be called. Okay. Now we have already created a variable to represent the label. And for the two inputs, we need to create two more variables. So first of all, what should be the data type? For the inputs, integer or double? No, no, no. Amar hoche FXML theke. I mean, input niche kisher matto me. Jodi tumi ekhen scene builder jao, kisher matto me input niche. Text field er matto. Text field. So we need to create text field object here. Okay. So let's create two text field object. Text field, and it should be again from Java FX package. Excel, what should I call my text field? Let's make it private. What should I call my text field? text field These are the two text fields. Look at this. What should I call my text field in input the code? One. Right. So the ID is given input one. So I will call the first one. Put one. Then just copy and paste it, change the name to input two. What the Second text field. Take a son. Talami duta text field ke. Ami amar. Ode duta variable he shall be represent coronilla. Level takateke corachillo. Method duta juna me duta method. On a button duta juna duta method. Create coronilla. Everything fine up to now? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, what should I do in the add method? So, first of all, I need to take the two inputs from the two text fields. So how can we get input from the text fields? Swing a key code them. So get text there. Get text. So JavaFX also use get text method. So I will write, what are the input or uh, text field objects? Text field object and I'm queue. What are the input? Nibu? Which object should I use to take the input? Is it text field object of an island? Input one. So I will call the get text input one dot get text. So what will what will it return? It will return the text written inside the input one text field. And we need to store it. So the return will be a string. I will store it a store it in a string. Call it S1. And for the second input, 
the input from input 2 and store it in S2. Is this clear? Okay. So now for adding, what do I need to do? Can I add two strings directly? Right. So we need to convert it into a number. Not necessarily integer. The values can be decimal also. So it's better to convert it to a double. So what I will do is I will directly write the result like this double result equal to convert chorus double dot first double s one because we are adding let's add double dot first double s two. So we know this code, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So it just takes a string parameter, converts it to a double. So for both of these inputs, we are converting them from string to doubles. And we are adding those values and uh, combining the result or the added result is stored in this res variable well, let's call it result now uh, can you tell me how can i show this result in my show level set text right so we need to call the set text show level dot set text what should i pass inside result result but it needs to be a string i cannot pass a double so to convert any data type or any primitive data type to a string is we can add a empty string or add an empty string. So this should be it. This should work. Let me see. OK, so let's write two values. Big add. So the result is shown here. Because we use double, it is showing a point zero something. And we can actually use decimal uh, values. Okay, it shows. Okay. So for multiply, actually, we can use this whole code. Just we need to change a single character. What should I change? A plus sign. Sir, plus is there. So just change it to just star. Start. Right. So if I run this again, plus a time almost shesh. So if I have 1000 and here maybe 50.5. So if I add those, the result is this. And if I multiply those, the result is this. Again, if I click add, it will show the added result. Okay. Actor change that has a chance. I'm seeing change color. Like, if I click a button, then this UI will change to a different one. But I guess today we'll not have time for that. Maybe show it in the next class. Okay, so I guess you will need to rewatch the recording for this class because um, So basically the setup part, if you have done or completed the setup, then you have done a 60% catch setup. So the FXML file I GUI but layout a design corbo. I do not need to write any of this code. I will just drag and drop elements from the scene builder software. Scene builder judi tomar ebhabe right click kore na open hoy. Tumi still scene builder use korte parba. Scene builder open kore. Ekhane theke scene builder open kore. File new diye 
তুমি হচ্ছে এই ফাইলটাকে ওপেন করতে পারো ওপেন দিয়ে তুমি তোমার ফাইলটাকে দেখা দিবা ও হচ্ছে ওই ফাইলটাকে ওপেন করবে ঠিক আছে মানে সিন বিল্ডার অ্যাপ্লিকেশনটা ওপেন করে দেখো ইন্টেলিজ আইডিয়া ইউজও করার দরকার নাই ইউ জাস্ট ওপেন সিন বিল্ডার এখানে অলরেডি ওপেন তো ওই জন্য হচ্ছে না নিউ দেই দেন আফটার ওপেনিং জাস্ট ওপেন দ্য ফাইল ওপেন দেন জাস্ট ওপেন ইয়োর এফ এক্স এমএল ফাইল দেন ওয়ার্ক দ্য সেম ওয়ে ঠিক আছে ইন্টেলিজ আইডিয়ার সাথে তোমার এটা লিঙ্ক আপ করার প্রয়োজন নেই তুমি জাস্ট তোমার এফ এক্স এমএল ফাইলটা এখানে ওপেন করে এখানে কাজ করবা করে সেভ করবা ইন্টেলিজ এতে আপডেট হয়ে যাবে প্রবলেম করতেছিল সেটা হচ্ছে উই নিড টু টেল দ্যাল ফাইল হোয়াট ইজ আওয়ার কন্ট্রোলার this is our class this class will contain all the codes all the calculations and codes will be inside this class and the fxml file should know what the controller is and we will do it using this fx controller equal to the full name of the controller class eta thakte hobe then for buttons we need to have the on action method so that when the button is pressed the name provided in this on action tag except the hash part that method will be called okay so amar ekhane e je on action tag ta bujhte hobe je ekhane ami jokhon button ta click korbo amar ei method ta call hoye jabe but to call this method the controller class actually need to have this method and in the controller class you can create it with private void without any parameter but just remember to add this fxml tag otherwise the controller will not know that it needs to connect this add method with the fxml ঠিক আছে এই ট্যাগটা না দিলে সে আসলে বুঝবে না যে এই অ্যাড এর কথা এখানে বলা হচ্ছে ওকে সো ফর দিস ইজ ফর বাটনস ফর লেভেলস অর টেক্স ফিল্ড we need to have this ids because we are changing we are getting values from the text fields we are changing the value of a label so for that we need to represent the labels and text fields as objects inside the controller class so for that the name given to the objects in the controller class should be the same as the id in the fxml file so fx id this id given to the label should be the same as the variable name inside the controller class and also we need to provide at fx level so if the connection is correct then you can do this you can write show label dot set text then whatever you want to write to the text field oh sorry to the label and that value will be written to the text uh, label okay, same goes for text field so i need to get values from the text field so i need to provide an id then i need to represent that text field variable using a id uh, using a instance variable in the controller class the name should be the same as in the id then we can use this variable to get the text so when i write something inside the text field uh, not you can write one two three so when i write something in the text field i can use the get text method of um, of my input one to get this value then we can do operations with this okay so ajke motamoti time shesh etto ki thaku on the next class we will see um what we will see i guess we will see how to change a scene so say there is a initially this scene and when i click a button we want to show a new scene so we will see how we can do that then we will start 
a new topic thread say for amra thread niye kacho okay so guys uh, give me your ideas in the message box onike diye diso it's fine আর যারা আইডি গুলো দাও নেই আইডি টা দিতে পারো আর কোয়েশ্চেন থাকলে করতে পারো সো স্টপিং দা রেকর্ড স্যার সিটি মোড কয়টা হবে সিটি পাঁচটা হবে এর মধ্যে ইয়া হবে কয়টা কাউন্ট কয়টা হবে তিনটা তিনটা ওকে স্যার আচ্ছা বাসার জন্য একটা কাজ দিয়ে দেই যাতে প্র্যাকটিস করতে পারো সো আম ফাইল নিয়ে কাজ করছি না জি স্যার সো যেটা করো তুমি একটা অ্যাপ্লিকেশন বানাও যেটা হচ্ছে ইউজার থেকে ইউজারের নেম নিবে ইউজারের ইমেল অ্যাড্রেস নিবে এন্ড ইউজারের বার্থ ইয়ার অর বার্থ ডেটটা নিবে জন্ম তারিখটা নিবে দেন in a file it will store the user name the user email address the user birth date and also the user's age ঠিক আছে সো তোমার ওই বার্থ ডেট থেকে এজ ক্যালকুলেশন করে তারপরে ওই এজটাও তোমার ফাইলে স্টোর করতে হবে কাজটা বুঝে গেছে জি স্যার ওকে সো এটা হচ্ছে প্র্যাকটিসের জন্য থাকলো ফর হোম প্র্যাকটিস শুড আই রাইট ইট लिखे <laughs> যেখান থেকে ইউজার থেকে নেম ইউজারের ইমেল অ্যাড্রেস এন্ড ইউজারের বার্থ ইয়ারটা নেওয়া হয় সরি বার্থ ইয়ার না নট অনলি বার্থ ইয়ার দা বার্থ ডেট দা টোটাল ডেট এটা নেওয়া হয় দেন তুমি হচ্ছে ওই ডেট থেকে ইউজারের এজটা ক্যালকুলেট করবা করে এই চারটা ভ্যালু নেম ইমেল অ্যাড্রেস বার্থ ডেট এন্ড অলসো দা এজ এই চারটা ভ্যালু তুমি হচ্ছে একটা ফাইলে রাইট করে সেভ করে রাখবে ওকে ওকে স্যার so if you have uh, if you face any problems doing fx projects uh, we can discuss about those on the next class so today's class is uh, this you have any questions okay fine so i'm stopping the recording our id glow diye tumra tahole leave korte paro ar tanzina